I like using Profoto for obvious reasons. It's readily available. It's, you know, everywhere I go, I travel all over the world and I can always find Profoto. Super durable. Uh, easy to travel with, easy to get around, and more assistants and people that I use, you know, that aren't normally a part of my crew, know how to operate them. Honestly, there's many different reasons why I like Profoto. I'm also used to using it, and I feel like they grow with me. When I get to a level where I need something better, they always come out with something. My favorite light shaping tool from Profoto has got to be the Silver Beauty Dish. Um, we always have it. I tend to shoot a lot of sports athletes, usually, it's either during action or post action, so they either got sweat on them. It's just that light, it, it casts that light. When that, when that tube fires into that silver pan and hits that, the, the silver dish, it just, the light that comes out of that is just amazing. It's, I, I had, there's nothing else like it. Number two, I would have to say the Magnum, straight up Magnum, because uh, we're always trying to recreate sunlight, and that is my, that's my sunlight, I always use that. I have multiples of those. Um, we use them all the time. And again, that's silver, so that has, uh, it just has that really hard, hitting edgy light that mimics the sun the best. So when I'm, especially when I'm doing composite work and I'm shooting somebody in a studio and then I know I'm gonna be marrying it to a background, I always have those and position those accordingly to what my, what my uh, background's gonna end up being. Usually when I know if it's a blue sky or if it's a street lamp or a stadium with lights, then we always use the, the Magnum. My third favorite light shaping tool would have to be, I would say, the 180. Um, and again, because we use it all the time. It's a good, broad source of light. A lot of times we shoot big, big scenes and that, that light is so good for just filling in a big scene. And then, uh, you know, again, I mostly use it for fill and then we would come around with other different lights to help shape and supplement. But as for a starter light, it's, it's, it's either that, uh, the 180 or the 300 or, you know, something big, but the 180 we tend to use a little bit more because we're, sometimes we're in confined spaces where you can't have the biggest, but you need something big enough. It, but it's, it's definitely there on most of our shoots. So I would say one, Silver Beauty Dish, two, Magnum, three, definitely the 180.